Welcome to Jack Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to import a model uh, or a model file in Microsoft Dynamics AX. When you export a model file, uh, the extension uh, you need to give is .ax model file. And um, when you import that uh, particular file, which is .ax model file, uh, that means that you're importing a model into um, uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, uh, 2012. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to use Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 uh, management shell, and uh, we're going to use a utility called axutil.exe, and that resides uh, in bin folder in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, which I'll show you in a second. So let's go to the server. Now uh, here is the uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, 2012 management shell. You need to right click and run as administrator. I have already fired up. So uh, if you are not at this particular address, C program files, Microsoft Dynamics AX 60 server, and AX prod is my AOS instance. Whatever your AOS instance is, you need to go there. You need to use that and, in, uh, and then go into the bin. The reason we need to get there is because our AX util um, .exe uh, actually reside at this address. So we're going to go ahead and um, just quickly see how many models we have right now. So we're going to use AX util .exe and list. It'll give us the list of the models. Right now we have uh, these models. So what we're going to do is uh, we have a file. Um, which is um, .ax, if, let me quickly show you. In C drive, there, the, here is my uh, GER model, and I have exported earlier GER.ax model. So let's say that if uh, a vendor give you their um, model file and you need to import that into your environment, you can use uh, axutil.exe to do that. Um, and that file should be uh, with the extension .ax model. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import that ger.ax model into our environment. So we're going to use import uh, a command in axutil.exe. Import. Uh, we need to give. We're going to import it from a file. So we need to give the file and path and file name. So that would be ger.ax model. And then we we'll need to give verbose uh, command. Now this is if you are um, if you wanted to target this particular uh, model file, wanted to create a file uh, model this this model into a different layer or into whatever the layer right now we have layers up here sys layer cus layer user layer then you need to specify that otherwise the the layer that you are set in to work work with when you first start the uh, the command um, the uh, management shell uh, then it's going to go ahead and create an user layer so if we hit enter but if you wanted to move that then you need to provide uh, the backslash you know layer uh, where you wanted to and layer uh, let's say that you wanted to do cus layer you can do that you you can specify a target layer where you wanted to import this particular model so we're gonna use go ahead we're, we're okay with the user layer so we're gonna go ahead and click verbose and it's gonna ask me whether you wanted to do yes or no uh, if you don't want to want this to happen uh, you can also uh, provide uh, um, a parameter backslash no prompt and it will not ask you and will go ahead and do the uh, the functions for you so if you write a script using a x util and you, uh, you don't want that to the pram uh, the, the prompt to be there because it'll wait for there uh, uh, for user input forever so if you write a script you need to write a script with no prompt uh, parameter so we're gonna go ahead and say yes and now it's saying that a GER is already existed do you want it to replace it I'm gonna go ahead and say yes and it's working now and it has done it. Uh, if you look at it, it says CGR.ax model was successfully imported into user layer. 
uh, and uh, uh, this is caution up here saying that because the changes are made you need to restart the AOS box uh, AOX services or also do the data sync so basically this is how you use um, how you import the models in in your uh, particular AX uh, 2012 R2 or um, 20 uh, upper version environment using AX util I hope it helps